Get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. Ever think it's a bit odd that a girl in a bikini can be shown on daytime TV no problem, but when a game does it, it's suddenly a big issue? Well today we'll be taking a special look at this and some of the other contradictions between these different mediums. First up, picture the scene. You go into a convenience store and walk past the magazine aisle. You glance at the magazines and what do you see? Now in most parts of the western world you're going to see plenty of this tits, ass and lots of it. Even sports magazines can feature a sexy half-naked girl on the cover. Hex XL, so this stuff can be found everywhere. Now let's change things up and go to the local video game place instead. Let's take a look at what games they have. Okay, so they've got a Sanran Kagura game. Cool. This is one of those very fan servicey action games from Japan. And actually the girls on the cover are quite suggestive and are wearing bikinis. But something is a bit off. Taking a closer look, we can see that the girls are actually wearing two layers of bikinis. Kind of strange, right? Looking again at one of the magazines from earlier, and seeing just how sexual things can get, this might seem really out of place for those of you familiar with the lewd nature of the game. So what's the deal here? Well, over in Japan it's different. Here we have the girls' chests as the focus point of the cover, as should probably be expected. So why wasn't it like this in the US release? Censorship, that's why. And this is a type of censorship that seems to only be such a massive problem with games. Earlier in the year, Sensor Gaming contacted Tom Lip Schultz, one of the localizers who worked on Estival Versus for more info. Tom explained that there are certain rules restricting what is allowed to be shown on video game box art. This isn't a problem for things like reversible covers, which can't actually be seen on shop shelves, but when it's on the front cover, many things can't be shown, including girls who are dressed too provocatively. One of the worst offenders of this is none other than the ESRB, the video game rating system for American video games. Video game covers actually fall under what is known as the ESRB's principles and guidelines for responsible advertising practices. This is a big long list of rules that publishers must follow when advertising games in commercials, trailers and, as discussed, box art. There are five categories of restricted content, violence, sex, alcohol and drugs, offensive verbal or bodily expression, and last but not least, insensitivity to religious beliefs or physical mental disabilities. Taking a look at the sexual category, we can see that what they call graphic and or excessive depictions of nudity or sexual situations are banned. The ESRB describes this as including overtly sexualized depictions of a character's body parts, such as breasts and buttocks. This is the reason why covers are so often changed when released in the West. Going back to Tom's message, he also explains that this is why One Chambara Z2 Chaos's box art is different in the West compared to Japan. And this is despite things like this being allowed to be displayed on shelves with no issues. In fact, in countries such as the UK, you will even be able to find full-on porn magazines on the top shelf of most convenience stores. It's not just stores either, there's also the sexual content that you'll be finding in everything ranging from billboards to music videos. TV commercials are also a big example of this massive contradiction between how games are treated. And this isn't even getting into all of the other contradictions that exist in the world of video games compared to real life. The reason for why games are treated so much harsher is not well understood, but during the process of making this video, Sensor Gaming decided to send the ESRB an email asking why such strict rules exist. If we hear anything interesting back, we'll be sure to let you all know, but what are some other big contradictions between games and things like TV? Suggest your ideas in the comments below and until next time, thank you for watching.